Welcome back to Celebrate Wonder today. Today's story is about love. The Bible tells us that we must love not only those who love us and treat us well, but also those who are not so nice to us. Sometimes that's not easy, is it? We're called to love everyone equally. God loves all of God's children the same way. He doesn't show any type of preference or partiality. Even those who are hard to love, God loves them the same. So our memory verse is from Psalms, Psalm 145, verse 9. The Lord is good to everyone and everything. God's compassion extends to all of his handiwork. Nobody is excluded. We're called to love everyone. So I wonder, do you know of anyone that it's really hard to love? I know I do, but we're called to love them. God wants us to love them and pray for them. So let's read our Bible and see what it says. I'm going to show you the picture. And if you look carefully, you might even see some hidden hearts there. This is from Matthew in the New Testament, one of the Gospels. It's from chapter 5, verses 43 through 48. Jesus was teaching a large crowd on a mountainside. He said, You might have heard that we should be nice to people who are nice to us and mean to people who are mean to us. But that's not what I want you to do. I want you to be loving and kind to all people. God loves everyone, so we must show love to everyone. So he was referring to something in the Old Testament where it says to love your friends and not love your enemies, but that's not what Jesus wants us to do. So here it is in the Bible. You have heard it said, you must love your neighbor and hate your enemy. But I say to you, love your enemies and pray for those who harass you, so that you will be acting as children of your Father who is in heaven. He makes the sun rise on both the evil and the good and sends rain on both the righteous and the unrighteous. If you only love those who love you, what reward do you have? Don't even the tax collectors do the same? And if you greet only your brothers and sisters, what more are you doing? Don't even the Gentiles do the same? Therefore, just as your heavenly Father is complete in showing love to everyone, you must also be complete. That's kind of hard. But basically he's saying, love everybody like God loves everybody. So our faith word is include. And include means to welcome all of God's children in God's love. So I want you to think about that as you pause this and watch our video. So I have a question. I hope you enjoyed the video. Um, what is love? Who do you love? Your parents, your friends, your pets, all of those are people and things that are worthy of love. What do you think it means to love your enemies? Who do you think God loves? Is it hard to love your enemies? Why or why not? Why do you think God wants us to love everyone? So I have a question. What do you think is in my wonder box? 
I have two things. So, the first thing is a card with hearts on it. And some of you made these cards with hearts to give to our homebound here at the church. And that's an awesome thing to do. Here's my other thing. This is something from somebody who is very special to me. This is from Diane Dotson, who works in the nursery. She sent me the card and it said, big love every day. And that's exactly what our message is, big love every day. That's what we are called to do. So how do you love people when they're hard to get along with? Love doesn't look the same. Just like all of God's children, they don't look the same. Love takes on different forms in different circumstances. We love our mom and dad differently than we love our friend. We love our mom and dad differently than we love our neighbor. So there are different types of love in different types of situations, and that's okay. Our Bible story tells us how important it is to love others, but it's important to understand that we have to love ourselves as well. I want you to think about your best qualities. What makes you special and unique? And if you'd like, you can write them down and illustrate them. Then I want you to repeat after me. I am a child of God. God loves me. I am amazing. I am a special part of the community. Now I want you to say, you are a child of God. God loves you. You are amazing. You are a special part of the community. If you would like, you can pause the video now and watch some of the picture books and then come back and we'll say a prayer together. Okay, let's bow our heads. Dear God, thank you for challenging us to love even when loving is not so easy. Help us to love in those situations in our lives where loving is difficult. We want to love like you love. We want to love all of your children equally. Amen. Okay, friends, I'll see you next week.